Von Hilliard, we haven't explicitly said this, but let's say it right now. This is a former president of the United States being found liable, not just for defamation, but for sexually assaulting a woman. And part of what makes this so monumental is that there were so many allegations in 2016 and beyond that Donald Trump did just that to a lot of different women. He always denied each and every one of them. Sometimes he would say, I've never met the person. Sometimes he would say, they're not my type. He said that with Jessica Leeds. He also said that about E. Jean Carroll. And that's the moment where Roberta Kaplan played that video deposition where he mistook E. Jean Carroll for his ex-wife, Marla Maples, arguing E. Jean Carroll was exactly his type. But again, going back, he has been accused of this a lot over the years, especially since he started running for president. He'd always denied it. He can now no longer and deny it with the same vehemence, the same credibility, because a jury has found him liable for doing just that. It's not a criminal conviction. It's a civil conviction, so it's the preponderance of the evidence. It's a lower bar. But still, a jury has found him liable for sexual assault bond. Katie, exactly what you just said. Over the last eight years, the number of conversations that you and I have had with voters who have justified voting for Donald Trump despite these allegations of sexual harassment or sexual assault by more than a dozen women, they pushed him aside because Donald Trump consistently denied them. Donald Trump suggested consistently that this was part of a political hoax to undermine not only him, but a greater political movement. Ultimately, E. Jean Carroll took him to trial on that, claiming that she was defamed because of that October post in which he said that this was part of a hoax. And just like her allegations, all the others, in his words, were also false. And now what you have, and if I may, what the other Republican candidates running for president of the United States has is a jury here today answering the very specific question. Quote, Mr. Trump sexually abused Ms. Carroll? A jury answered unanimously, yes. Now the question here is, when we're talking in political terms, just a few hours ago, morning consult polling released showed Donald Trump here in this 2024 geo primary with his largest lead yet, 60% to 19% against Ron DeSantis. We have seen no Republican come attack Donald Trump over the E. Jane Carroll case here. We had seen them over the last eight years consistently come to his defense on these al multiple allegations. You saw in October, I remember being in Indianapolis, Indiana with Mike Pence when he was questioning whether to stick on the ticket or not. Ultimately, about 36 hours later, he was back on that campaign trail. And what is notable about this is that you have in that deposition Donald Trump on camera here yet again suggesting in a separate incident other than access hollywood tape suggesting that quote in which he said in that deposition upon being asked whether the comments in that access hollywood case were true he said well that's what if you look over the last a million years i guess that's been largely true not always but largely true unfortunately or fortunately in terms of the question of whether stars are able to do whatever they want to women unfortunately or fortunately and now a jury has made this determination and the question here katie is what does this politically yeah. impact him or does it not